Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, this reading is different. Of course, I pulled the cards before hand um okay and um the reason why i did that because this reading is completely 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 about you and really no one else now of course you don't you're not an island so you do have other people in your life but this reading is about you so that you can kind of clue in on you so that you can do things right get it right think about some things whatever all right so let's get into it so aquarius uh, you have the heart of the matter, what's going on now, and then you have what is surrounding you. You have what um, is kind of like in your north node, south, and then we have what was behind you and what is before you, okay? So uh, Aquarius, let's talk about this. Um, so you got several cards of Scorpio, Pluto, um, the eighth house. So it's just like it looks like the universe was really trying to get you into a place of coming out of, you know, using, overusing, maybe even overthinking or just overuse of your mental capacity. Though it is vast, it is most times right. You are most times 10 steps ahead of people. You're very smart. Um, you have bright flashes of insight. You know, um, you get downloads, you get channeled messages. The universe wants you to come out of that and jump into your emotions, jump into your feelings. How do you feel? Have you been asking yourself that when situation arise, do you say, hold on, how do I feel about this? You can process it, of course, through your mental process and we all need to, but at the same time, you need to start asking yourself, how do you feel? Because it looks like for some of my Aquarius, you you tend to push it down and push it away. Therefore, you make these real tough, cutting, cold decisions. So we know what a decision is, is when you go in and you make an incision, then you cut away. So you're, you're okay with cutting things away or cutting people away or pushing it away. All right, so um, the cards want you to get to a place of feeling, feel. I know it's scary, it's foreign, it doesn't make a lot of sense to a true Aquarius, but they really want you to get to, they really want you to get to a place of intimacy, okay? They also want you to show that other side of you, dig deep you know, deep in your emotions. There's some things that you have suppressed, pushed away, didn't want to talk about, didn't want to process, or you have processed it mentally by way of packing it away and not unpacking it. Therefore, it's come up as kind of burden or chip on your shoulder. And for some of you, it's come up as having these maybe extreme or extremely high standards when people try to engage with you um get to know you they they feel like they need to be top tier on level 10 100 um and it might even be aquarius that for you it is subconscious so it's not like you are meeting people with a checklist or, or you know uh um what is it um it just escapes me what is that the little board like a um, a board. Anyway, you're not meeting people with like a checklist and going through and what's wrong and what they need to fix or anything like that. But your demeanor, your attitude, your persona, your personality, your character says rise up or hmm, I might cut you off or I, I can judge pretty harshly. And most times when I judge, this is what the Aquarius says, I am right. You know, um, but at the same time, sometimes you just want to be a peacekeeper. And sometimes the peacekeeper knows what's right. The truth will prevail. You don't need to go and get the truth, pull the truth out and sit it right in front of anyone. You just need to know the truth. And sometimes you just need to be quiet with it. Um, 
the cards want you to again look at the bigger picture back to being a peacekeeper not speaking on certain things all the time just because you know you're right and you know it makes sense and it's logical and it's practical and you've added it up and put it over here and then you subtracted it and divided it and then you went over here and, okay we get it you're right Aquarius and most times you are but at the same time is it is it lending to the bigger picture sometimes it is not so the the universe wants you to kind of let go of let die that that side of you not completely they don't want you to lose your mind literally like just don't ever think about anything ever again but they want you to have balance in everything um for you have scorpio the animal and then you have pluto what is uh, north of you okay so it's a lot of transformation what is that we hear that thrown around so many times in readings uh so to transform is to kind of change in essence all right so you're changing something about you we just talked about what the universe wants you to change maybe to have a bit more balance especially for my feminine energies or just for some of you if you're a masculine or if you're a man they want you to kind of dive into your feminine energy no win be like the temperance card have balance one foot in the in the water one foot on the ground some of you are just too by the book too straightforward too militant too military too stringent too unmovable and it's because you know your entire life you you've been able to judge pretty accurately but again does it lend to the bigger picture if you want to be with somebody if you want to talk to them if you want them in your life forever sometimes it, it might have to be that you have to be balanced that scale there in your approach all right so aquarius um so you get a, you know what you need to work on there for some of you it's the phoenix rising it's like you have gone deep and maybe you have even been learning about the occult because scorpio and pluto is all about you know transformation there has been a, a deep transformation in you in terms of what you've been learning what you've been studying or what you need to learn or what you need to be studying because when you get that knowledge it's going to bring about that transformation that change within you your personality persona demeanor all of the above but as long as you stay in a place of I think I know or I know it all or there's no more to learn or I don't know which way I'm going, um, then of course you're stuck or you're stagnant. The cards want you to be, it says, so, you know, what, what do you want the Aquarius to do here? Okay. Because we need, you know, um, you know, expressed, uh, we need to express uh, instruction. So we got the Hierophant and the Six of Cups and more Scorpio. Taurus for uh, some of you, if it, if it means anything to you. Um, they want you to be guided by your emotions and they want you to learn emotional maturity. I know you feel like, oh, I have emotional maturity, okay? I'm an Aquarius. But you have mental capabilities you got two very mental cars two very masculine energies here also for my feminines out there my females you 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 have mastered the masculine energy of thinking and resolve and getting things done and willpower selling yourself being eloquent in your speech you you've mastered that all but in terms of being guided by your emotions because it looks like the universe wants you to start to again back to the earlier ask yourself how do i feel and really unpack that maybe even have a journal and you write down how you feel because it looks like and they want you to connect backwards i don't know if you've always suppressed your feelings or your feelings didn't matter or you were made to feel that way or maybe even in childhood uh, maybe some of you okay I'm getting middle child if you weren't a middle child it was always that you felt like okay um, I 
I have to think my way out of that, out of this, or I have to be the one with the good ideas or always have the good ideas. So, um, it, it's, it's easy and it's comfortable for me to rest in an energy of just mental process and overthinking and thinking, I don't know how I feel. And I really, and I rarely ask myself how I feel. And typically most people don't ask me how I feel because they see me in a very strong, strong, uh, persona they see my character is strong so i don't i don't i don't get to unpack my feelings much if anything people unpack with me on me but the universe is saying look we we want you to take a turn here just a little bit and we want you to have balance be led by your emotions but of course be balanced the six is about balance with the six of cups here it's also about connecting backwards what you're rooted to simpler times they so they want you to simplize now that's that's another that is another damn word i don't know they want you to make things simple <laughs> they want you to the six of cups also talks about declutter earlier when I said you know there's things that maybe the Aquarius pushed away or pushed down or pushed over here or I don't really want to think about that or kind of unpack that or go there or it, it's like repressed or suppressed or maybe even depressed here uh it, it looks like the universe wants you to start to this could even read as maybe for some of you um therapeutic or therapy or get under some type of uh guidance uh, guidance in terms of how to govern yourself accordingly when it comes to your emotions because some of you are emotionally immature only because you've always been in the energy of thinking of making things happen all right uh, the universe wants you to come into this new energy because there is a new romantic cycle beginning for you new new moon and labor things are balancing out for you aquarius especially in love it says that um marriage engagement something like that could be in the cards for you very soon okay maybe around the labor season who knows you know get a personal reading um it also says that you need to take some time uh of, again to think about how you feel also you need to take some time on your appearance you don't have to be completely about looks but you need to take time with yourself you know, again about balance you know it can't be that the only time you dress up is when you're going out whatever out is for you you know if you have the clothing if you have you know the opportunity put some clothes on every single day i know a lot of us are working from home or just not getting out as much but still and when you have the opportunity when it presents itself show up show out uh the universe wants you to take some time in terms of your appearance physical appearance they also are, it's like you're getting ready for a relationship you're getting really ready for um a commitment um this could be the resurgence of a relationship or this could be new altogether but they want you to start balancing some things out when you go to the grocery store you don't have to go with the sweatpants that have the hole in them you know your new partner your mate might be there you never know you know put on something that looks you know presentable um it doesn't have to always be that you know you're dressed down because you're not going anywhere so something about balance in terms of your appearance also beauty rituals or not rich set rituals but maybe beauty rituals regimens um visit a department store that has some type of um beauty items or you know beauty creams or whatever that you can buy um take some time okay aquarius because it's like the universe is setting you up why are they setting you up and why do i say that they're setting you up you pull the sex style sex tile card all right what does this talk about it talks about adventure opportunity okay when something is sextile in your chart in your birth chart you can pull your own birth chart at cafe astrology.com it's free but a sextile talks about opportunity you know it's like this is the opportunity for to make anything happen for for things to go your way aquarius however you want them to go it's just prime opportunity so therefore 
those who uh, succeed or have success is because they prepared. When preparation meets opportunity, there is success. If you are in the grocery store with holy jeans, busted shoes, hair uncombed, unkempt, you are not prepared for opportunity of, you know, meeting someone new, especially those of you who say, I want to meet someone new. You know, you have to be on, you have to be prepared. You have to, there's no time to get ready, be ready. Right. Um, because the universe is like preparing you. They're like, look, what clarifies sextile is the ten of swords. It's like all that, that tough time, that walking in the dark, you know, that maybe that 10 year or 10 month or whatever, it could even be 10 or more um, years, months, weeks of just uh, feeling like you were cursed or things just weren't going, going your way or um, always being the victim or being overly dramatic or um, failure, collapse, all of that is over. There is, the, there is no more. It doesn't exist. The 10 is about completion. Okay, so there's no more of that. It's something new. So we go, it goes from one to 10, or it goes from zero to 10, and then you start over with zero again, where it's just opportunity, right? So it's like the universe saying, look, we, we, we said not, we're doing our part. We need you to do yours, right? Um, why? Why are they saying this? It's because your hard work is paying off, Aquarius. <laughs> Come on. What you have been doing, maybe working on yourself, working on your career, career uh maybe some career uh goals here it says that your your goals need a little bit more time to manifest you need to get a little bit more serious you need to put a little bit more time behind it your hard work is paying off but they wanted you to maybe take it to the next level uh, gear up or ready up or be prepared again um this also talks about study or teach you may be coming into some type of um maybe coming into maybe guiding others by way of your gifts or with your gifts aquarius because some of you are diving with this scorpio and this pluto you have dived so deep that you pulled something back with you and it could be that some of you have been blessed with spiritual gift here and you're guiding other people with your gift here um, but it's going to take a little bit more of knowledge, study, teaching here. And that's for some of you here also. Um, some, it just reads as the universe wants you to be a little bit more aware. How are you more aware? Of course, your mental capacity is on fleek. Are they still saying that? Anyway, your mental capacity is, you know, heightened. Like you, you got it. You know, nothing you know, can, um, get over on you in terms of your, your thinking, uh, the mental agility, you can do it, but maybe in terms of being aware and tuned in to your emotions and your instincts and how you feel and maybe connecting backwards. And I'm hearing reparenting for some of you, um, dealing with childhood trauma with the six of cups or whatever, you need some help. And, you need to kind of dive deep into that okay you need to lean into it because some of you have run so far from it you know it's catching up with you you have to deal with it because it's like the universe is setting you up for everything that you say you want but they want you to deal with you first because you'll f it up you get that all you get everything you want you're gonna mess it up so uh what is coming towards the aquarius in the near future we have the ascendant card all right so for some of you, you need to look, you need to know your ascendant sign. So it goes sun sign, ascendant, and then moon. Uh, you can also find that out on cafeastrology.com. All of it's free. Take advantage of that. So the ascendant is about the outlook, okay? The world view, your mission statement, your expression. Back to how people are perceiving you. Uh, maybe how you have kind of pushed yourself down also and it also could stem from childhood you have always just kind of cowered down maybe it was that you had parents or loved ones or older people around you who said little things to you that made you think again the king of swords and the magician that maybe i need to kind of 
uh, not show that side of me. I need to not show people that I'm really, really smart. You know, maybe I need to be quiet. Maybe I need to not um, make people aware of how I think and what I know. And maybe that I'm a, I'm a good read of a person and personality or that I just know things or maybe I see things or I'm psychic or I communicate with the dead or whatever. You just felt like I can't show that. And you were made to believe that you could not share your gifts here because the six of cups talks about gifts sharing. So maybe you were just made to believe that, especially early on, um, under seven years. So, you know, the first seven years of your life, you were just made to believe that, you know, you, you need to not show that. Uh, maybe it wasn't fostered, it wasn't cultivated in your home, in your, in just in your life in general, maybe with parents or guardians or whomever was over you, you just didn't have that. Uh, you didn't have anyone, you know, tuning in to you and seeing uh, how great you were and maybe fostering that greatness. You had people maybe pushing it down within you. Uh, they didn't know that you know that you know that you just know. And, um, they kind of, uh, I heard towered over you. I don't know if you had somebody towering over you. I don't know what that means. Um, so now it's time for you to say, you know what? I'm an adult now. It is what it is. I'm going to do me. I'm going to express myself how I, I want to express myself. I am no longer fearful. Also back to Pluto and Scorpio. Some of you have overcome fear, fear of you fill in the blank you know, literally fill in the blank. What are you no longer fearful of? And it says now, because you are not in fear, you're going to be able to express yourself, um, accurately. Okay. Accurately. Maybe you just, it was inaccurate. It was off a bit. Or again, you felt like you just couldn't really, you know, turn up. You really couldn't be yourself out of shame or fear, or maybe even fear of being embarrassed or, um, maybe being shunned or people not liking you or you always were the outcast you always thought differently you you stand out therefore you try to always fit in um because when you stood out you got bullied or picked on or you always had to defend your position because you were the only person with that position so it was like you were literally um maybe even without any real uh without you like trying you were always the odd man or the odd woman out it was just like oh well, i just think this way or i just want to do it this way or i want to dress this way or i want to say this this way or i like this or i like that or and it was always contrary to the group maybe even group think um so now you get to express yourself and the universe is saying look we give you opportunity here because we want you to come to understanding your true potential. How do you do that? This is understanding your true manifestation potential to your true power to the, the pentacle is power, especially in this realm, in this world. If you have money, uh, you can in turn get power. It doesn't mean you always have power, but definitely um some would say both are synonymous like you know you got money they have power but you know they they both are not far from each other um so it's like um the the universe is giving you opportunity to manifest everything that you want manifest something big for yourself something this also talks about wealth now wealth of course we all we have wealth and we just automatically our minds are conditioned to think about money now wealth is a part money is a part of wealth but wealth is a state of being you know um some would even say wealth is health and you know blase blind they give so many other different things about what what um wealth is it's family it's uh being around people who love cherish and regard respect you um and and likewise um so the universe is giving you opportunity for wealth so it's all of those things it's, it's all of the above but you're gonna have to do the work here they're just giving you opportunity 
to cultivate, put something in the ground so that it can grow. Uh, understand your truest and your highest potential psychologically. Back to that psychologically. And we talk about uh, the first seven years of your life. What were you fed the first seven years of your life? Was it you're great, you're strong, you're beautiful, you're handsome, you can do anything. You can do anything you put your mind to. What were you fed the first seven years of your life? If you can even think back to that. Um, some of you are just going to uh, reprogramming and reparenting is just what I'm hearing here. So Aquarius is like this entire reading was like it wants you to dive deep into you. Pull something back with you. Come back to where you are now in adulthood use that gift that god given gift that innate gift that was with you that you were born with um and share it also and also understand your true potential because it's like you need to unlock something about you something's been locked up and for most of us you know look you know parents do the best they can you know, some of us have really, really great parents. However, you define great parent. Um, and then some of us just, we were, had to deal with the hand that we were dealt, you know. And just hearing reprogramming and reparenting also. Some of you were just put like in, it was like a, a den of thieves. Like, you know, or almost like raised by wolves or it was always survival it was like you against you again being the odd woman or the odd man out it made you suppress and push down it made you to conform uh it made you to not think different or it because it, it always seemed contrary and adverse and like you were just doing it on purpose when it really was just you for some of you it's been a long time but you have just been hated uh for being you it's nothing that you can control but you there's a, a real deep hate there that some people or some person has for you this would be like family or someone who's known you for a very long time they really really hate you for being you it's almost like because like in that in hatred you find desire so this person desires to be like you or to at least be as free as you radical as you are um and they are not they don't have what you have and they're coveting maybe your gift or, or something of that nature whatever it is you have to give to the world aquarius this is just about you unlocking some aspect of you that has been completely locked up maybe you just you just didn't feel comfortable you still don't but i heard that for some of you there is no fear you don't fear anymore it's just more about how to put it together and dive in even deeper so that you can even bring you can bring with you uh even stronger knowledge gift of self know thyself you know um so this is really good aquarius especially for some of you who just you know want to you always felt like it's something you know about you and you maybe you have even been told there's something about you it's just time to unlock that it's like some of you were put in family friend situation i don't know um some early situation um okay so this would be family family situation where uh these people were completely different from you you're completely different from them and you were put there for a reason okay aquarius um, it almost was like this is a uh, orchestrated. It was divinely orchestrated. It was designed this way. I keep hearing like if you would have known what you know now back then, it w it wouldn't be this way, or you wouldn't have taken this path, or you know it just wouldn't be right. All right, okay, all right, okay, okay. All right, okay, all right, okay. So some of you would have even been like extremely conceited, or it would have been. That maybe your gifts would have been perverted there would have been some level of perverse um happening with you because you you just you have something within you and if you had known this years ago without the actual shaping and the molding of your character and having gone through something you would be a beast and not one that people would want to be around so do keep in mind that what you have gone through 
the turbulence, the chaos, the drama, the failure, the ups, the downs, the hurt, the pain, the backstabbing, all of that. It was to shape and mold you so that you could have a story so that you could go through this. Maybe the unlocking and the unveiling of the true Aquarius, the true nature of you. So Aquarius, don't beat yourself up. Don't beat family members up too bad. Maybe that didn't pour into you or continuously try to keep you down anyway. Don't do it. Um, it was all for a reason. Again, look at the bigger picture here. Uh, it looks like you, Aquarius, let me know what some of your gifts are down there or what you're now sharing with the world. And it doesn't have to be always like super spiritual for some of us. It will be. And then for some of us, it could just be, you're really good at dressmaking, art, um, anything, but maybe you were made to believe that's not the path you should be taking or should have, t uh, taken or took at, a, at the time. So, um, Aquarius, let me know how this resonates for you. I think it's, it's a really deep, so it's not going to be for everybody. I know people come for the, the drama and the sensation, but I just felt like I want to do a uh, reading for the Aquarius who really just wanted to talk about themselves and know self and know thyself, you know, so that, um, if you know thyself, wow, that's powerful because, uh, nothing, nothing can, can get past you. Aquarius, again, with Capricorn, you're, your hard work is paying off. Capricorn is a sign of what you know, um, Saturn rules Capricorn. So, lots of life lessons and and you know hard lessons and doors slammed in your face and opportunities lost. But it looks like that is over for you, Aquarius. All because you're shaping up into the person that you were meant to be in this world. Again, some of you are coming into with the ascendant sign, life purpose. Thank you, Aquarius, for being here. If you want to get your own personal reading, just like this one, if you want to know about yourself, I think I'm going to put this up on a website where you can just get um, a reading about self. You know, if, if you're not thinking about love right now, you really just want to know about yourself and what you need to be focused on and what's happening for you, what's going on for you. Maybe you feel some type of way, you feel the energy, go over to the reading. If you don't see it on the website, um, shoot me an email and say, you know that reading you did about Aquarius and self? And then I'll say, okay, yeah, yeah, let's, um, I'll get off my ass and make it, make it happen, right? Um, anyhow, Aquarius, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel, Aquarius. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. I hope that you found something or took something from this reading. And if you did, you can always give back. Let the exchange happen here. Do you know what happens when an exchange happens? This is not a money grab. This is not me trying to get, you know, all, you know, all your coins or anything like that. But I know when I have sewn into um, great things happen. So if you took something from the reading Aquarius and you're feeling moved to do so, you can always give back by, uh, buying me a coffee yep the link is below it says buy ella coffee um you can also go over to the website book your own reading there catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time uh check the community tab for discount codes to readings thank you aquarius many blessings to you bye